Hey everyone, Carl here with Trilobite Studios. Well, it's finally time for the species profile that you've all been waiting for. Today, we continue Carnotaurus Month with one of my personal favorite dinosaurs, the real-world Carnotaurus. Before we jump in, let me again remind you that if you enjoy our content, then you should subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter to see what goes on behind the scenes at Trilobite Studios. Link is in the description. Alright, let's begin. Carnotaurus is a genus of theropod dinosaur that lived in South America during the late Cretaceous period, 71 to 69 million years ago. As of now, there is only one species of Carnotaurus that is known, Carnotaurus sastri. Known from a single well-preserved skeleton, it is one of the best understood theropods from the southern hemisphere. It was in 1984 when an Argentinian paleontologist, Jose Fernando Bonaparte, found a nearly complete adult specimen of Carnotaurus. The specimen was uncovered in the Chibut province of Argentina from rocks of the La Colonia formation. Carnotaurus is a derived member of the Abelosauridae family that occupied many of the predatorial niches on the southern landmass of Gondwana during the late Cretaceous. Within the Abelosauridae, Carnotaurus is one of the largest members. Interestingly, however, it is lightly built. Carnotaurus is a bipedal predator, measuring 24 feet long and weighing at least one and a half tons. Carnotaurus was a highly specialized theropod, as seen in characteristics of the skull, vertebrae, and the forelimbs. The skull was proportionally shorter and deeper than any other large carnivorous dinosaur, giving them a bulldog-like face, and a prominent pair of horns protruded from above the eyes. In 1990, Bonaparte suggested that these horns probably formed the bony cores of much longer keratinous sheaths, which, if true, then Carnotaurus really would have looked like a meat-eating bull. Now, we've all heard the jokes about T. rex's tiny arms, but that is nothing compared to Carnotaurus. The arms of Carnotaurus are so small and underdeveloped that the arms themselves are nothing more than sausage links. Paleontologists even speculate that the fingers were encased in the flesh of the hand. However, the shoulder blade housing these almost non-existent limbs is massive. Paleontologists once thought that the muscles attached from these arms to the shoulder blades allowed Carnotaurus to use its arms in quick motion, as seen in the documentary Prehistoric Planet. But further studies should still be done on this speculative behavior. In most theropods, the caudal bones look like a plus sign, and had muscles attaching somewhat evenly over the bones all the way down the tail. This is not the case in Carnotaurus. In Carnotaurus, the bones are a V-shape. This, in turn, allows the bottom group of muscles to be much larger than the upper group. Since it is known that dinosaur tail muscles aided in locomotion, then it's safe to say Carnotaurus was very fast, and was probably the cheetah of the mid-sized carnivores. Scientists have calculated that Carnotaurus could have had a top speed of 30 to 35 miles per hour making Carnotaurus a pursuit predator. Carnotaurus lived in an open floodplain environment and would have needed that kind of speed to pursue smaller, faster prey. In an area devoid of cover, an ambush strategy would not have been viable, leaving Carnotaurus with the one option of speed. The idea that Carnotaurus lived in a floodplain is further reinforced by Bonaparte. Bonaparte's research found evidence pointing to an environment of estuaries, tidal flats, and coastal plains. Carnotaurus stalked the many other animals that shared this dry, humid world with it and reigned over them as their king. Undoubtedly, Carnotaurus was the apex predator in its environmental role, and only relinquished its crown when it, just like all non-avian dinosaurs, fell victim to the KT event and disappeared into the fossil record.